Uh, I have the pleasure of having uh, a drink with uh, maybe one of the best bloggers we have in Frankfurt when it comes about <laughs> beer. Olivia, Olivia drinks beer. How many beers? Uh, I'll, I'll start with the base. How many followers do you have on Instagram? Um, about 7,000. 7,000 followers. Yeah. But. Uh, uh, to focus only on Instagram, right? Or you have yes. another platform? I have um, also a Facebook account, uh -huh. but that's just uh, the same post. So if I post ah. something on Instagram, it also appears on Facebook. But yeah, it was just to have a, a business account, yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. to have this connection uh -huh. that you can see some insights, but I never use the insights, to we, be honest. <laughs> we, are, we are talking too much without drinking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> since the yeah, name yeah. of the... <laughs> Since the name of the, the, the show is a drink with, we have to drink. And you chose a very nice beer for us. What's I this? I had it before. What's but this? I know Schwarz Rose and Schwarz Rose is always good. Yes, and it's Schwarz a West Coast IPA, and I love West Coast IPAs. <laughs> so that's the perfect I, I, beer. Yes, I, I, uh, Schwarz Rose is, of course, one of, uh, one of, the fi one of my favorite breweries, yeah. also, of course. The, 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 the Simons, <laughs> the Simons <laughs> <Yeah>. and Daniel, <laughs> they know what they are doing when it comes about beer. Uh, I really like the name of the beer, Paranoid Android. It's a music reference for a song by Radiohead. Okay. You, did you know that? No. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't know that. So I know Radiohead, but I know this. Okay. Now this this is something more from my time, and not from yours. <laughs> so let's try it. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, I wish you. Having a beer is complicated mm -hmm. when you have a beer because <laughs> always I, I always have this this mustache beer mustache here on my <laughs> You also have this without a beer. Did you like it? <laughs> yeah that's nice. What what it's super smooth. Is it drinking? And, um, is it drinking for you or yeah. what do you say? What, what would be your rating on tap? <laughs> <laughs> right now, right here, right now, uh, live. <laughs> I don't know. I would have to take more sips of it. I would yeah, judge of it course. after. Not, not the first, yes, of course. It's really good. It, on, it, on untapped, let's talk about untapped, <laughs> right? <laughs> it could uh, take a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tempered way, uh, I asked about your followers on Instagram because Instagram is about followers. It's about it's the kind of social network yeah. that you have to count the followers uh, because this is the kind of uh, the, the number that matters. The, that that what brings you uh, the likes and even the motivation to keep going. Like, oh, okay, this is going somewhere. Maybe I'm inspiring some people to drink beer. Untapped mm -hmm. is not actually the social network. Or I don't like to say app, I like to say social network that you care about the followers, you care about the beers. Mm -hmm. Exactly. The beer is the main start. Yeah. How many beers have you already made checking on Untapped? Too many. <laughs> you have to say the number. <laughs> uh, I'm not even quite sure, but it's uh, more than 2,000 check ins. More than 2,000 beers. Uh, yeah, because. Um, I mean, I check in every beer I taste, uh -huh. so I also check in beers at beer festivals or when I share beer with friends. Yes. So um, at a beer festival, it could be that I have 30 check-ins or so yes, after yes. a beer festival. Yes. So no, yeah. <laughs> well, well, untapped, yeah. Untapped is, uh, for example, when I had the, my year in review from, from last year, mm -hmm. uh, I had, I don't know, more than 200 uh Check-ins. It's not so so many, of course. It, it took me a, a while to start actually using the, yeah. the platform. Uh, but uh, this uh, the average of uh, the average of check-ins for a, a, a average user is forty-nine to fifty beers a year, and that was something <laughs> like two hundred. Maybe you had what five hundred or six hundred. Uh, I, I don't know. But it does not mean that you drink exactly every beer you finish the bottle of every yeah. beer right it means that yeah. you have a sip that you try yeah. and to have a partner right uh your father yeah, also my father. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yeah he's not on untapped but he's on instagram yeah yes and he also likes to drink beer yeah and um, yeah 
We also share beer together. Yeah, it must be nice. I, I don't have a, a actually. A, 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 my wife is not a beer lover, but I, I'm trying to break her for yeah. for a tip, but it's a little bit complicated. <laughs> Uh, let's have another sip to I want because I want the rating of the beer live. <laughs> it's really, it's really very smooth. It's very refreshing. Yeah, it's not too bitter actually. For no, West Coast. not at all. Yeah, if you so compare. It. I expected a bit more, but um, yeah, it's really. <laughs> so difficult to rate it now, but it, it would be definitely above four. Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah. So like four point two five or so. Talk talk That's about uh, talk about the ratings or or a tepid. Of course, that someone like you, that is an expert, I'd say. If you uh, say so. I think. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't consider myself as an expert. Okay. You are modest, uh, an expert and modest, but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm anyway. not beer sommelier, or I haven't yeah, yeah, had training or anything, it's just a, a hobby, a passion, so, um, yeah, I mean, the more beers you drink, so maybe you have a bit more experience in really drinking and rating the beers, but um, actually it has changed, I mean, I'm, I've been using Untapped since I've started to drink craft beer, so when? since 2016. Ah, okay. So these 2,000 check-ins are from uh -huh. five years. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah it's, um, <laughs> it's, it's not a warm <laughs> month. <it's not laughs> <laughs> and um, I mean, at first, for example, I just wanted to keep track on the beers. Mm -hmm. So I didn't even rate them. But then I started to rate them because I wanted to know, did I like the beer or did I you know, not, not like yeah. the beer? And um, so I started to rate it up actually never thought about the impact that could have on the brewery so that developed a few years ago yes so and I think there are several kinds of users on untapped and everybody rates a bit differently so that's, uh, that, that's it's, it's, it's a super interesting but also difficult topic I also saw the talk you had here yes. on Facebook with, with, with Nicole uh, yes. from Atelier Talking yes. and it's yeah it's it's a very we could talk hours, I guess. Yes, but Untapped. but yeah, but uh, for example, uh, do you think someone like us mm -hmm. that we are beer enthusiasts that we like beer, we we know the guys, we mm -hmm. meet the guys. I know Nico, I know the Simons, I know Julian uh, uh, from Gleb's Boy, and uh, do you think that the fact that we know who is behind the beer. Do you think this affects our judgment of the beer? Do you think we prejudge the beer before drinking it? Like, ah, this is, this is sudden That's death, this is, yeah. this is atelier. So it's, in my mind, it's already above four. But of course, when you try, say, mm, no, it's not above four. You know what I mean? It's a, do you think it affects that we know? I think it affects yeah? how we wait. If we like a brewery, um, then we might tend to rate the beers more positive, maybe. But if the beer would be, if I wouldn't like it, and it's, for example, Schwarz Rose or Fest Beer Check, so my yeah. favorite brewery, so um, I would rate them not as good as. Yeah, but. But I would have a hard time to give them a three or so. Even, even. If one day they deliver a bad beer, yeah, if it's really bad, of then course, I, I, yes. maybe if I like the brewery, I wouldn't rate it. I would get in touch with them. Yes, before. I yes. wouldn't rate. I would check it in without rating it, and would ask the brewery, could there be something wrong? Maybe because I, I think I'm tap it uh, according to to what uh, uh, I have notes it about the ratings and uh, is that people judge the beer also because of the artwork I remember that one I remember that one of your posts if I'm not mistaken was the one that you had the hop here holding mm -hmm. in front of your eye and you had mm -hmm. a beer here with a similar yeah. artwork and you one. commented something about uh, uh, that uh, I chose the beer the 
cause of the artwork, something like this, not yeah. exactly with these words. Yeah. Uh, yes, I follow you. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, do you think that also the artwork, the artwork is connected to the rating? Like, ah, oh, yeah, this, for example, uh, Shabazz Rosen, in my opinion, yeah. has one of the best artworks in, in, in the, the craft beer world. The craft beer market when it comes about the artwork i consider them top notch do you think this also influences in the rating i'm not sure as a, personally i think it affects the way i buy beers so if i come here for example to naive in the bottle shop and i see a beer that i don't know the brewery brewed it or um, i don't know the beer because when you're on instagram all the time you you know what's new you know what's um, hype or what's not so good, or I don't know. And then you go to the bottle shop and then you see, for example, a new beer and you see the artwork, it's the first thing you see. Yeah. Then maybe I would buy the beer only because of the artwork, because it looks so nice. And um, at home I discovered it's a Berliner Weisser or something, which I didn't like a few uh, months <coughs> or years ago. Um, so this happened. But I don't think the, the artwork would influence my untapped. Uh, I, yeah, no, I mean, I'm asking not actually about you, I'm asking mm -hmm. about in general, because yeah. uh, when we had this talk with Nico, this was one of the topics mm -hmm. that uh, we, uh, the brewers, we spent, we, we, uh, we devote a lot of work for, yeah. for brewing the beer, but also for the artwork, blah, blah, blah. And I, I, it's like I, I understood what he said like if the artwork is part of the package mm. and when i have clients here at the shop that ne never had a craft beer before mm. and they say ah this one ah yeah i like the can i like yeah. the, the artwork. and they yeah. buy it because yeah. of the artwork that's because I, I think that we start drinking with your eye with mm. our eyes yeah of course. uh but in general don't you think that maybe maybe ah one point is for the artwork and one point is for the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could be. I, I, I've actually never thought about it because I, if I drink the beer, it's the focus on the beer, and I wouldn't. Uh, no, I personally wouldn't rate a beer higher than I think it is just because the can looks nice. I'm not now that I'm saying this out loud, I can't be sure that I haven't done that <laughs> <laughs> three years ago, Maybe. but not recently. I, I, I can't remember. Yeah. For example, I like the I like the beers of the cooking ham, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. by Christina. Uh, but I don't like the artwork. Mm. I think it's it's very simple. It's very like uh, it's not so, it's not appealing. Yeah. It is an artwork, of course. It's yeah. it's it has a, a visual identity. When I see the bars, oh, this is cooking ham. Mm -hmm. uh, but the beers are amazing. I like the beers. Yeah. It's not like uh, 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 she does not has she does not have uh, uh, double IPAs or, but what she offers, in my opinion, is really high quality. Yeah. yeah? But uh, if you consider. But you wouldn't rate it then worse on. Yeah, I would. Just uh, because the artwork. Is yeah, right. yeah, exactly. Yeah, so exactly. it's the other way around, and you wouldn't do it a negative way. So why would you do it? Because in maybe I'm mean, talk about the general. The, the users in general, yeah. you know, that maybe someone saying, ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is you, you were right when you said that this is something <laughs> that you could talk for yeah. hours because this is complex, especially because it's still a new app. It's just yeah. something new. Even uh, if you are uh, on tap it since 2016, you said. Yeah, but yeah. it's not like Facebook. Yeah, and everybody can use it. Yeah. I mean, from, from the craft beer nerd to just people who enjoy a pills from yeah, time to time. Course. And yeah. they get to know the app and think, oh, I can keep track on the beers. And they don't actually care about the rating so much as yes. the breweries, of course, and maybe other beer nerds that sometimes uh, might also choose the beer because of the rating. It's another important point. If you go to a bottle shop, do you check whether the beer is rated yes. on untapped? And how it is rated on untapped before buying, of course. Um, yeah. Yes, yeah. This 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 talk with uh with Olivia would last like maybe two or three <laughs> hours because we yeah. would have a lot of to talk about. Uh, uh, I have to say I'm a fan of your work. I like what you do. I follow your content. <laughs> I follow uh, your posts, 
it's it's really interesting. I always learn stuff. I, I like to say that I, I'm not a. I, I started doing beer posts a couple mm. of weeks ago, and I don't consider myself a beer nerd. I consider myself a beer lover. Uh, yeah, but that's what I. Because I call still have. As well. Because I have. Yeah, but you know much more than me. You are being modest. No, but I'm not a nerd. <laughs> Okay, that was Olivia Trixbier. You can follow her on Instagram, right? And we have our last <laughs> post before saying goodbye.